Welcome to the lands of New York City. Lands consisting of many kingdoms, like the Park Kingdom, the Subway Kingdom, the Concrete Kingdom, and the Beach Kingdom. <laughs> yes, you heard right. New York City, a land packed with people, buildings, and subway racks has 14 miles worth of public beaches. It makes sense because Manhattan is an island, Staten Island is an island, and Brooklyn and Queens, they're part of a really long island. With so much surrounding water, it's natural to have beaches, and the city has preserved miles of them. Also note, next week happens to be Memorial Day, which is the day that New York City opens up its public beaches for swimming and city beaches remain open until mid-September, right around Labor Day. So in this video, we are going to talk about the popular ones to go to, how to get there, and what to expect, so you can spend your New York summer days on the sand and in the sun. During summer, beaches have lifeguards from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., so plan your swim time accordingly. Here are the three most popular beaches to go to, mainly because they are easiest to get to from Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn. There is also a smaller beach right here, which is the Manhattan Beach. It's a smaller residential beach that is visited by families in the area. If you are in Staten Island, there is South Beach, Midland Beach, Cedar Grove Beach, and Wolf's Pond Beach. And the Bronx has Orchard Beach. And these are only the beaches that the city maintains. There are also the beaches of Breezy Point, Fort Tilden, and Jacob Rees run by the National Park Service. But for this video, we will cover these popular beaches. As a quick overview, Coney Island is the most crowded of all the beaches because it also has a boardwalk with rides and a carnival setting. Further down the coast, you will find Brighton Beach, which is going to be less crowded. It is in the neighborhood known as Little Odessa, where you can get your fill of authentic Eastern European food. If you are into boogie boarding, surfing, and a somewhat laid-back beach, then Rockaway is a good choice where you'll find several miles of beaches. All three beaches are accessible by the New York City subway, and Rockaway has the added benefit of being accessible by the Summer Ferry and LIRR. Coney Island is not your lazy beach, because it's usually packed. I would not recommend Coney Island if you just want to lounge on the sand. I would recommend it if you were into the whole carnival scene. Coney Island is also home of Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs. You might have seen some hot dog stands in the streets of Manhattan by Nathan's Hot Dogs, but in Coney Island, the hot dog stand here is the mothership. And on 4th of July, they host Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest, which is televised nationally. Coney Island is also the venue for the annual Mermaid Parade that's happening next month in June. And if you like sea lions, you can find some at the New York Aquarium, which is one subway stop away. Subway trains that can take you to Coney Island are the DFN and Q trains. But if you are not into cotton candy, ferris wheels, and hot dogs, down the coast is Brighton Beach, which is in the neighborhood of Little Odessa. You can start your adventure with some authentic Eastern European dishes like chakapuli or beef stroganoff at local mom-and-pop restaurants in the area, all before heading to the beach. You can get to Brighton Beach by taking either the B or Q trains. Rockaway Beach is the city's only legal surfing beach. The beach scene at Rockaway is pretty laid back, nothing like Coney Island. You can enjoy a fine sand beach, rent a cabana, boogie board, learn to surf, or ride a bike on the boardwalk. Streets along Rockaway are labeled as beaches, these street names are also used to mark where you are on the beach. For example, if you are near Beach 125th Street, then you are at Beach 125. This boardwalk stretches from Beach 9 all the way to Beach 126. That's five and a half miles for biking, running, or walking. 
If you are a surfer, the city allows surfing at these beaches. However, there will be some closures this year. The Army Corps will be working on improvements to protect against erosion. Here are the beach closures. You can get to Rockaway Beach by subway, ferry, or the LIRR supplemented by the subway. If you take the subway, you can get to Rockaway by taking the A train. But note that not all A trains are created equal. Make sure you take the one going to Far Rockaway Mott Avenue or the one going to Rockaway Park Beach 116th Street. However, this A train only runs 10 times in a day. Chances are you're not going to catch it, so here's what might happen. If you want a beach here, don't wait around for a Rockaway Park A train. You'll be lucky if you catch one. Go ahead and board a far Rockaway A train instead. Get off at Broad Channel Station, then transfer to the shuttle train to get to this side of the peninsula. The S train will be on the same platform as the A train. In the summer, the NYC ferry has a route that goes to Rockaway Beach. It stops at Wall Street in Manhattan, Sunset Park in Brooklyn, and right here at Rockaway. If you happen to have access to a station of the Long Island Railroad, you can ride the LIRR to this station. From here, you can transfer to a bus or the A subway train to get to the beaches. And those are the three popular beaches to go to in New York City. But don't limit yourself to just these three. If you plan to go to the beach this summer, comment down below. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and happy New Yorking!